Hey guys, I just saw Doctor Strange, and since I'm currently working on a little Villain Pub episode, I wanted to take a little break and share my thoughts on the Doctor that is strange. If you guys were interested, if not, I'll see you on the next one, I guess. Thanks for watching. So anyway, let's get to it. Doctor Strange, he's a smarty pants, but also he's magic now. Hey! All right. Doctor Strange is the origin story about a Bindi Cumberbatch that hurts his hands and has to go to the Kung Fu Wizard School of the Matrix and Inception to steal someone's flying headless horseman cloak and then fight some other angry evil Kung Fu wizards that are trying to enhance their evil eye makeup skills by summoning an even more evil angry space giant to, des to destroy the Earth. I know, right? That old story again. But it's actually a lot more than that. It's not just another origin story for the MCU with another hero. Well, yes it is. But it's also a story about a man who loses everything and goes on a journey of self-discovery and also has a hot girlfriend that helps him achieve his true selfless calling, save the Earth from bad guys. No, this time it's different because magic and timey-wimey. Poof! Benedict Cumberbatch! See? Different. I actually enjoyed Doctor Strange. I don't know the first thing about Doctor Strange, but I enjoyed the film. It was interesting finding out that magic has been on Earth all along, fighting these other battles while the Avengers storyline is happening. It's a great addition to the MCU that leads the way to expanding new universes, quite literally even, adding more characters to the playing field, as well as opening ways to visit others down the line. It's very entertaining, it has lots of comedy, which I was not expecting, so that was a very nice surprise. And you can't deny that the effects in this movie are off the chain. Sorry I said off the chain, that way I won't do it again. They are off the chain. If you can see this one in 3D, I highly recommend it. I think this one is worth the experience. So my non-spoiler review is go check it out, see it in 3D if you can. But you guys already saw it, didn't you? You don't care about this non-spoiler review stuff. No, you want the full Cumberbatch of goodies. So let's talk about the movie, shall we? Spoiler warning, spoiler warning. Dr. Strange, he's got the spoiler warning, yeah! Okay, what did you think about the doctor? The doctor? Not that doctor, this doctor. Totally different. Has Benedict Cumberbatch played any awful roles? I think Cumberbatch has reached this level of, if he's in it, it's probably got something going for it. And I think he's great as Stephen Strange. You might say he's a little just like Tony Stark. He has money, he's focused on himself, he's full of funny one-liners, he drives a flashy car, he becomes a superhero. Hey, he is not just like Iron Man, you guys. I know, his necklace glows in his chest just like an arc reactor, and he can fly, and he has a goatee, but... These guys are different, okay? They are different! I really like Doctor Strange. What did you think about the special effects? That's a stupid question. The special effects in this movie are possibly the true hero of the film. The art direction and the visual spectacle of everything, from the sling rings to the world manipulation to the astral projections to the cloak of levitation. This movie's effects are so awesome. I can't wait for this to be on video so that I can just like pause it and like just look at everything cl up close and be like, how do they even make stuff move like this? It's so amazing! I thought the effects were very inspiring and possibly my favorite part about the entire movie. What do you think about Cassilius? 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 Can I just call him Mads Mikkelsen? Rogue One Dad? Hannibal Lecter? Hannibal? What do you think about him? I unfortunately didn't find Cassilius that interesting. He's always running around with his minions being all evil, but his motivation didn't really speak to me. He's just kind of that bad guy that's out there making a mess so that Doctor Strange can be forced to save the day. But there isn't much of a connection between Strange and Cassilius. I thought their conflict just sort of took off out of thin air. I would have really liked to have seen more of the Ancient One's side losing to Cassilius, you know, while uh, Doctor Strange is still developing his skills, but what can you do? The more exciting villain turns out to be Mordo when it's all over, so Cassilius was always going to be that one-time baddie. I'm guessing the Mordo reveal wasn't really a surprise to anyone familiar with the series, but I was like, oh, that's interesting. He's played a bad guy before. That should be cool. I still have a lot of questions, but I'm excited about that all the same. What about White Lady Morpheus? You, you mean the ancient one? Yeah, what'd you think about her? So, apparently, 
in the source material, the ancient one is a man and is not Caucasian. I did not know that, but not in this movie. In this movie, the ancient one is Tilda Swinton, and I actually thought she was all right, considering she kind of makes this face the entire time she's on screen. But every scene she's a part of is really cool, and she's totally the best master wizard ninja person. The movie definitely made me wish I could see more of their stories prior to Doctor Strange. I mean, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, Marvel, but I'm just saying, since you're already doing them, I'm pretty sure a Mordo Netflix prequel series would be amazing. It doesn't even have to be a prequel. I'm just saying, I'd, I'd watch them all. And why aren't you doing this? What were we talking about? Oh yeah, the ancient one. Yeah, so she's cool, but then they reveal, oh no, she's been pulling power from the dark dimension. She's been kind of evil all along, just like Hannibal Lecter. And then she's like, well, I had to, but I don't really recommend you do what I did. So that makes everyone cool with it for some reason. And then Hannibal throws her off a building and then she dies, like a good Obi-Wan Kenobi is supposed to. Spoiler alert. So then it's up to Doctor Strange to save the day from the evil Dormammu, Dorm, Dormammu, these names. He's gonna destroy the Earth, and Doctor Strange decides, I'm gonna pester him into submission with this hilarious time loop. And Dormammu's like, I can't take it anymore! Just keep your dumb planet! And then he leaves, and all the other bad guys conveniently get pulled into the dark dimension with him because we gotta wrap this up. And everything is saved, except maybe London. Man, sorry, London. So what was the point? What did we learn? Well, I, for one, learned what a sling ring is, but I still have a lot of questions, like why didn't the levitation cloak choose Wong instead of Doctor Strange? Wong is clearly awesome. He is arguably the best character in the movie next to the cloak of levitation, so where's Wong's cloak of levitation? But seriously, I, I actually do have a lot of questions. But I still enjoyed the movie. Anyway, I think the point was to tell a story of self-discovery, giving up selfishness to help others. Or maybe Marvel just wanted to make a movie about magic before Fantastic Beasts hits theaters. I don't know. Or maybe it's to teach kids that texting and driving might turn you into a superhero. Please don't do that, that is so terrifying and so wrong. But all joking aside, my feeling of the movie was that we never really lose our demons, we can only rise above them. If you don't, then you will lose your way. Doctor Strange's hands still shake at the end of the film. He is not perfect, and he will probably always fight this battle along with his ego and being selfish, but hopefully he can channel his abilities into a higher purpose. If that's the message, then I like it. Okay, that's my knee-jerk reaction to Doctor Strange. Let me know what you thought of Doctor Strange in the comments. I know we will get cracking on a Doctor Strange how it should have ended very soon. Like I said, I'm in the middle of a different project right now that I will post the second it is ready, but after that, we will get back to the hizzy grind because we got so many great titles coming out. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, and on Instagram, and on Facebook, and uh, be sure to let me know what you thought about Doctor Strange. We'll see you next time. Bye.